right, in this video, I just want to talk about site components. You can also add most of these just from the uh, regular component menu. If you look in here, you'll probably find some of this. But over in Massing and Site, um, you'll see site components. You probably already have some preloaded trees in here. If you're looking for other stuff, um, there are other items. If you go to Edit, Type, and Load, um, you can go into Plantings. And you can bring in like a shrub or something like that. So you can put some of those around your house. Uh, there'll be all different types that'll come in. Um, so when you look at shrubs here, you'll see there's a bunch of different types of shrubs you can pull from. There's also stuff, um, let me go back in there. If you want to bring in um, stuff from the site and go into like accessories, you'll see there's like flagpole, trash can, that kind of stuff. You can download cars and all that kind of stuff. I think uh, you'll be able to find some cars in here. They're not always the best. If you go to Entourage, you'll see like a couple basic cars and some people you can bring in. You know, we don't need to slap a semi truck uh, in the middle of our yard, but it's fun to look at. Um, so anyway, uh, placing trees and shrubs like that. As you're placing them, I do like to place um, looking straight down like so, so from the site plan uh, but one of the things you need to keep in mind like if we look at this from the side um, when I place this piece um, it is right now being locked at the foundation level which is going to drop it way down here you're going to have to play with a height offset for me I might start you know with level one or garage if I'm working around the garage and kind of tweak some things from there so I'll go to my site plan um, and go back and grab that shrub again and let's say I want to add you know a couple shrubs around here Right now they're on level one. Um, we'll just uh, pop a couple of those little shrubs in a, in a little row here. And then we'll go take a look at those um, in 3D. So you can see they actually snap together pretty nice on, on that. You may need to tweak them a little bit. So like right now, this actually locked right to that direct elevation. So um, hopefully that'll work for you. If not, you can always tweak them. Um, you can also make things bigger if you want to edit the type and get crazy and start making the height of these different shrubs different, you can do that. Realize it's gonna change them all. If you wanna duplicate and make an acacia bush that's you know five feet tall, you can do that kind of stuff. Um, so you can make different size trees as you're working around uh, on your site. Um, but if I go back to site component and then I wanna drop in you know, a couple trees that are on there. So let's say, oh, let's go with this ash tree here and I wanna put a couple of those in the backyard Kind of make your render look a little bit nicer. Uh, you can do that kind of stuff. Um, and we'll take a look at those in 3D. Now they look kind of like little cardboard cutouts here because I'm in shaded. Uh, if you go over to realistic, uh, it's going to take a little bit of time for your computer to process here, but it'll show you what that looks like. Um, if you want to get really nuts, you can get into changing the time of day and the season and look at all the way the foliage changes. Uh, that stuff's over here in manage um, I want to say that is has to do with location and when you're in location you can change some things not something you're probably gonna mess with at this point but if you feel like having a little fun with that you can and then down here like along uh, where these shrubs are maybe you decide you want to add a little uh, I'm gonna turn this back so my computer doesn't freeze up maybe you want to put like a little sub region around there and put make it look like mulch I don't know um, just try a couple different um, components. If you want to put a car in the driveway, you can do that kind of stuff. Uh, it will make renders and things look nicer if you have like some trees in the background. Um, so think about that, put in some site components, have some fun with those. Again, let's say I want to make a bigger tree here. I'll go in to edit type on this. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to say, okay, well this ash tree is going to be um, 33 feet tall. So I've renamed it and then I go in and change the height uh, to 33 feet and let's see we'll hit okay on that and now i have one ash tree that's a little bit larger than the other that might be nice to kind of vary some of the size of some of your site components just make sure if you're doing that again you go in and you duplicate if i all i do is update the size then i just change them all to 33 feet so have some fun with that